Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be integrating Twitter and YouTube onto our Facebook. So if you want people to know an easy access to your Twitter account or your YouTube account from your Facebook, this is uh, the video for you. So what we're going to do here is see these boxes down here by photos and likes. Well, we're going to integrate Twitter and YouTube to two of these boxes right here. But the first thing we need to do is we need to get the application, right? And so what we want to do is we want to open up a new tab here. And let's go over to www.involver.com. And Oracle actually took it over here. But what we want to do is we want to go up to Applications here. So top right up here, App, Apps. Alrighty, and this is actually different than when I first did it a couple, uh, it's been about maybe a year or so. Like I said, Oracle took it over here or uh, revamped the, uh, the page here. So what we want to do is there's a couple of free ones. You can choose, I believe, up to two for free. And then a couple of the other ones you have to pay for if you want a bunch of them. So we want to go ahead and do YouTube. So let's do YouTube first. So let's go ahead and click that. Alrighty, so right here, add YouTube for pages to my BMW E65, E66 DIY page, add. Okay, so we're going to say add. Now we're coming over back to our Facebook page here. And YouTube pages would like to access public profile, friends list. Sure, why not? Okay, we'd like to manage pages, access pages. Okay. So you got to go through a couple OKs there. Then it takes us right over here to company name, phone number. I've read and accepted the terms and conditions. So let's go ahead and fill this out real quick. Okay, let's just say, because this is the, of my page here, so, and then phone number, eh, I don't know if that's necessary or not, but, uh, I guess I'll have to black this out. I have read and accepted the terms and conditions. Let's go ahead and save changes. All right, now we have our YouTube username here. So we got to type that in here so that it can link up to the correct one. So that one is DIY save cache on YouTube. Import uploads, yes. And we'll go ahead and come down here to save changes. Your changes have been saved. It may take a few minutes before you see the changes on Facebook. All right, so let's go back to our Facebook page here. And let's go ahead and refresh this and see if it's already on there. All righty, excellent. And so that literally took less than 20 seconds before our YouTube button is now on here. And so beautiful. So let's go ahead and click this and make sure that it's linked up to our YouTube page here. All right, wonderful. Okay, excellent. So it's all linked up here. Has my website here, and has all my uh, not all my videos, but um, I believe you can manage that in settings. How many uh, little thumbnails are right here? Okay, so we've already integrated. Let's go back to our homepage here. So we've already accessed our YouTube button here, and now let's go ahead and do Twitter. So now we need to go back to our Involver.com page that we already have open. And we've already gotten YouTube, so let's scroll up and let's go ahead and uh, do Twitter. So let's click the free install. Let's go ahead and add tweets to pages. Okay, let's push OK here. Let's push OK again here. All right, now this page came up here. It says you are not currently authorized. So let's go ahead and hit authorize with Twitter. All right, now, as you can see, I'm already logged into my Twitter account up here. If this doesn't show it for you, log into your account. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna authorize app right here, the big blue button. Now we're going back to the application. So we're heading back to Facebook now. 
Okay, now it says you are currently authorized. Wonderful. So what we need to do here is we need to type in our Twitter feed. And of course, yours is going to be different than mine, but mine is DIY BMW E65 E66. That's my Twitter name. And you can display however many tweets you want to show. Let's go ahead and keep it at 5. You can do 10, 20, 40. Let's go ahead and keep it at 5. And if you want to uh, access automatically post content to wall, yes, I'm not going to. But let's go ahead and hit this add button here. All right, and save changes right here. Okay, your changes have been saved. It may take a few minutes before you see changes. Let's go ahead and return to our Facebook page right here. And let's see if Twitter's already on there. Twitter does take a little bit more time sometimes, but let's take a look here. Okay, and uh, let's go back to our main landing page here on Facebook. Okay, so let's scroll down here. Excellent. Twitter is very quick as well, just like YouTube. So those were both under 30 seconds, and Twitter and YouTube are now on my page. And so let's go ahead and click Twitter real quick, let's see what we got on Twitter. And of course, you just saw that a second ago, but that was my latest post on Twitter about finishing up my brake bleeding video on my BMW. So let's hit back to our main page here. All right, so you're done. Okay, now if you want to get a little bit more crazier, we can actually change these images here to your own images that you want to upload. And the pixelation for that is 111 wide times 74 pixels tall. And so let me show you how to change this image real quick. We're just going to change the, uh, the YouTube one real quick. So you want to come over here to this little tab here that accesses this here. You want to come up to the pencil here. Go ahead and hit that pencil and you want to edit settings. And that's going to pull up this little page here. And what we want to do is we want to change custom tab image. So let's change that. And right now, of course, our image is this one here. So let's push edit. Okay, and you would just hit edit here. And then this page comes up and you would just choose whatever file of the correct 111 times 74 pixels here from your computer already pre-saved here. And you can also change the, uh, the custom uh, labeling if you want, custom name. You would also again hit this pencil button here. And the way you access this pencil button is you see this right here, you want to click down and then access that pencil button there. Go to edit settings again. And you can go ahead and rename it. Let's do my YouTube. And let's go ahead and hit save. And we're going to hit OK. And here we go, my YouTube right there. So that's pretty neat. Now let's say you want to move Twitter over to where likes is. And we're going to go ahead and hit the pencil here. We're going to go ahead and swap positions with likes. Let's hit that. And we're going to wait till that refreshes there. And there we go. So now Twitter is over here, likes is over here. And you can do the same thing, hit this pencil button here, and you can swap with likes, or you can swap with Twitter. So let's swap with Twitter, and there we go. So now YouTube is over there. So it's pretty neat, a couple other options for you guys there. And I hope you guys liked the, uh, the video, guys. Go ahead and uh, spread the word. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, check out the uh, Facebook page there. And uh, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye-bye.